Legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. Florida's Connect unemployment website debuted in 2013 and was anything but smooth. Numerous problems caused delays for thousands of Floridians depending on temporary unemployment benefits. The Connect implementation did not go as hoped for. A state audit of the system between February and June of 2014 was not kind. Multiple findings included security lapses and performance issues that amounted to withholding some people's benefits and fraudulently paying others. The audit also questioned if the requirement of social security numbers broke state law. The Department of Economic Opportunity deflected the findings. Many of the audit findings are now stale. During and since the audit period, much work has successfully been done. The state began fining the system's vendor Deloitte when the problems first occurred. That rang up a bill of eight million bucks. The state still owes them seven million for work that needed to be redone. The audit's findings caused some members of the panel to question whether or not the Department of Economic Opportunity rushed the Connect system. There's a good case for that. You know, if you look at the dates of upon completion, the rollout, and then the subsequent findings of, of issues and problems. Senator Audrey Gibson said the findings couldn't accurately account for the toll the problems took on Floridians. We don't know how many people may have been evicted or, or may have had their lights turned off. We have no idea of what that looks like, and uh, I don't think we want to be in that place again. The website will end up costing the state around $14 million more dollars than originally estimated. Reporting in Tallahassee, I'm Matt Gelka.